Hello everyone, I'm Tony Macklin. Somebody asked me how I like to use my calculator for structural engineering. The calculator is an affordable and accessible tool that engineers use to check beams, headers, and joists, or the members that make up a building structure. Only recently I started using the HP Prime graphing calculator, which was a real upgrade from the previous HP 50G calculator that I had been using. I started to learn how to program the HP Prime calculator in its native HP Prime programming la language, HPPL, and now my calculator is able to iterate and automate those beam checks. First I'll demonstrate a routine calculation check on a header for its bending stresses and deflections. Then I will show you how I leverage the HP Prime programs that I've scripted into the calculator to automate and iterate these checks and converge on an appropriate solution. So first I'll start by defining a header situation that's often encountered in building engineering. There are floor joists that are sitting on top of a window or door header and the self-weight dead load is 15 PSF and the live load is 40 PSF occupancy consistent with residential construction. The analysis formulas for beam reaction, shear, moment, and deflection are published in multiple places. I know I have them in my engineering mechanics textbook, mechanics of materials textbook. I reached to my bookshelf, I grabbed the closest reference I had, it was the AISC steel manual, and those numbers are all published here. Back to the design example, I'll write down the length of the header, the line load from the joist bearing on top of the header is 55 PSF times half of the joist length, the reaction is the line load times half of the header length, and the moment is the line load times the header length squared over 8, and the deflection is all of that. This is the HP Prime graphing calculator. And you can see it has a color display, a touch screen, I'm punching in the numbers from the design example to get um, the load, the reaction, the bending moment, and the deflection. From experience, I know that long span beams will be deflection controlled. For an 8 foot header with 275 pounds per foot, I'm going to initially assume a 4x12 dug fur number 2 material, and the calculation shows it isn't deflecting very much, so it seems like a conservative assumption. However, I felt intuitively like the end result will be in this in the family of four bys. It could be a four by six, a four by eight, four by ten, or four by twelve. So I'll carry forward with the four by twelve calculations. Depending on how the stresses turn out, I'll be able to fine tune with a few iterations and converge on an appropriate header size. And I apologize for the error in formulas here. The bending stress is the moment demand over the section modulus and the shear stress is three halves times the shear demand over the rectangular area of the beam. It's easy to make a mistake either by pushing the wrong button or forgetting the formula for bending or shear stress. In order to save time and reduce those computational errors, I am uh, leveraging my HP Prime calculator by scripting the formulas into small programs that automate these checks. In my experience, some load cases come up more frequently than others, so I have programmed six load cases that come up about 80% of the time for beams and headers in building structures. Whenever I encounter something tricky, I'll go and use a proprietary software that uh, will solve the problem. I have those programs stored in the calculator's toolbox that I'm accessing here. So these predefined load cases have really streamlined and simplified the way that I communicate my calculations within my team. It's nice that they can pick up something that I'm working on and make a change. Maybe the architect wants to make the window opening bigger or smaller or move a wall here. And it, it helps them make those uh, iterations and reduce the errors by using the programs that I've shared with them.
So that's how I use my calculator. Hopefully I've inspired you to leverage your calculator in a similar way. I'm excited to see how you innovate and automate your structural engineering work. If you have anything you'd like to share with me, please leave it in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. If you know anybody else who would like to see this video, please like it and share it. Thank you for watching.